Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if it's your first time here. My name is Dana and I'm a reseller. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Dana Invests. Uh, I resell on eBay, Amazon, uh, Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark, Mercari. Uh, I think I've said them all, but basically anywhere online. Uh, I'm on just about all of them. And uh, today is going to be a how to pack a DVD VCR combo. Uh, I know that there's a lot of people who are afraid to sell the bigger units and uh, because there's kind of the scary of like how do I ship it, how do I make sure it gets there safe, I don't want to get scammed. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a few things. One, uh, to make sure how you don't get scammed. Uh, and then two, how to pack it and make sure it gets there safely. And uh, hopefully this makes sense and uh, works out. I've got uh, the camera is just my cell phone right now. Uh, I need to get a tripod so I can do this a little bit better. Um, but I just ordered a new camera and all that other stuff's coming with it. But anyways, uh, I filmed a video earlier on how to ship on Facebook Marketplace. Check that out if you're interested. I filmed a video on how to ship a golf club. Uh, check that out if you're interested in that. And then I show, filmed a video on how to ship video games safely. Uh, check that out if you're interested. And uh, if you've seen all that stuff, then go check out my What Sold videos uh, because I've got a lot of good content on there of what to look out for uh, as you are sourcing inventory. So anyways, let's talk about first the uh, how to not get scammed uh, when you're selling a DVD VCR combo or maybe just a VCR or maybe just a DVD or just whatever large electronic. And uh, so there's a few things that I do. Number one is when I'm taking the pictures for the listing, I make sure that I include a picture that it shows every angle all the way around, including the serial number and the bottom of the unit. And I do that specifically because scammers are looking for ways that they can either send you back one that's not the one that was yours. And if you show the serial number in the picture, then you can easily send that to eBay and say, hey, they didn't send me the right one back. Here's the model or the serial number of the one they sent me. Here's the serial number of my listing. And your listing picture is the proof of which one that you uh, sent them. So they see the serial number. Normally that's enough to get them to go away and um, not bother trying to scam you. Second way is, uh, oh, I didn't have these within reach, but hang on one second. Is a security seal. So hopefully this uh, focuses all right there. So I put one of these on the bottom seal uh, of every major unit that I sell. So it goes across the seam where if they were gonna take the unit apart to take something out from the inside, they would have to cut it or try and peel it off. And those things mangle if you try and take them off. So it's very, very obvious. If they open it and send it back to you and you can show that that was opened, um, again, eBay will side with you on not having to refund that buyer or worst case, you have to refund them only 50%, uh, which even that would suck. But again, scammers are way less likely to try and steal something out of a unit that they can see in the pictures, right? You don't have to put anything in your description that I have a security seal, I'm gonna know if you scam me. Right, you don't have to do all that. Just put the picture out there and that picture is normally enough for them to know, hey, this person knows what they're doing. I'm not gonna be able to get over on them. Let me look for a different listing, right? So I normally price my stuff high uh, on electronics and that kind of thing too, because I I think I've found a, a thing that buyers want to buy a better unit. They think if it's priced too cheap, um, that they're gonna get a bad unit or it's a cheap unit or maybe it's not gonna be shipped properly. If you price it a little bit higher, uh, I found my stuff sells better that way because people are, they wanna get a good unit if they're gonna pay up for something anyway. So uh, I have two DVD VCR combos that I'm gonna ship today. Uh, I'm gonna flip the camera and show you uh, both of them and then uh, we're gonna get to uh, some of that stuff. But uh, I wanna show you a few things that you're gonna need to ship. So forgive me, I got a little ahead of myself there uh, before you start shipping stuff like this. So uh, let me step back a little bit. First thing is you're gonna need the right size box. So yes, you can get away with cutting down like moving boxes or something like that, but I just don't think it gives you as good protection. It's not as um, tight uh, and it's not as good uh, presentation to your uh, buyer. So you can see on there, this is a 20 by 16 by six. It's on my cell phone, so it's flipped. So sorry about that, same on my shirt. It's all flipped back here. But anyways, when this is all folded up, it's a 21 by 16 by six. So uh, that's the dimensions that I put in. And I know for calculated shipping, if I'm gonna do that, it's 21 by 16 by six, and then I can weigh the thing and add two pounds for shipping supplies. So super simple on that. Um, but what I've started doing on a lot of these is just doing free shipping because if I do FedEx ground or UPS ground, 
Um, it's I haven't had one cost me more than like $22 to go basically. I had one go to New York the other day for $21. So uh, if it's really, really heavy unit, I would probably charge shipping on that and do calculate it and do it that way. But anyways, I got a 50 pack of these on Amazon for a hundred bucks. I sell a lot of uh, electronics. They're basically two bucks a piece. It was, man, it was a little less than that. It was like a dollar 88 or something like that. So, I mean, it's an investment that you gotta put in there, but just factor that into your buy cost. Uh, and your shipping and you'll be just fine so make sure you get those 20 by 16 by 6 for big units you can get with like a 20 by 14 by 6 if you're just doing vcrs standard dvd players that kind of thing most of those are a little bit skinnier and you don't need the full 16 um, but i do a lot of the big units so uh, i just went with the bigger uh, model on there the next thing you're going to want to have is the right bubble wrap. So this is the medium bubble. Uh, as you can see hopefully on the camera there, it's the much larger bubble. There's a large bubble too, but this is American Bubble Boy uh, bubble wrap. And uh, I order these two rolls at a time and uh, I always have them uh, ready to go. I've got one more roll out in the garage. When I run out of this roll and I get to that next roll, I go ahead and order uh, another roll of it. So it's constantly here. And then I have multiple rolls of uh, Again, the 12 inch uh, small roll, and you can use this for the smaller stuff, but on big electronics, uh, you're gonna need uh, the big medium bubble to do it, uh, at least in my opinion, safely. Um, obviously, you're gonna need um, tape and your tape gun, uh, and uh, a knife, right? Safety knife, uh, maybe another knife, whatever kind that you prefer to do, and a tape measure which is around here somewhere so anyways let me uh flip the camera and i'll show you the two units that sold so this one down here sold for two uh 24.99 and this one on top it's because it's a recorder uh the recorders are always going to sell for more money uh than the standard ones and then i sold this one up here for 149.99 uh and uh i included the uh, uh av cables or the component cables uh with that one with it so Anyways, uh, what I'm going to do first is uh, just tape up the box. So I've got the other one down there ready to go. Uh, so let me uh, do this real quick, and we're going to fold it up and tape that box. All right, so now we've got a taped box. And uh, hopefully you can see on here I go across it, I go double across here, and then I come down the edge of it so you've got a nice uh, tight seal all the way around it. Uh, very sturdy box and uh, just wanted to show that side uh, before we go over. And uh, so now it's ready to go on the inside. At the bottom, you know, they have the layer of cardboard here and the layer of cardboard here. So basically it's double walled there. Uh, that'll come important later because we're gonna double wall all the way around with some scrap cardboard. Uh, but for the next step, uh, that box can just set aside and we're gonna come to just the unit and uh, wrapping it up. So what I do is I take about seven or eight feet Forgive me. I've got my fan going and it is not happy <laughs> to help me move my bubble wrap. All right, technical difficulties uh, figured out. So anyways, I just fold it all over to the table. I have about eight feet. And what I do is I take at the edge here and I fold over at least a foot uh, 10 inches to a foot depending on how tall the unit is because I want to make sure that the face plate is going to be super well protected and uh, so that gives me just a double bubble right here to start off with and uh, I think starts your process with a much uh, better uh, protection so basically here I'm going to take the unit and set it right on straight in the middle and make sure that at the front here that bubble is going to come up and over the front it could probably go back a little bit better so let's push it back just a little bit more and then now there we go i like that a lot better so what i'm going to do is uh, set you on the side over here and uh, see if i can show you how i roll it so we're just going to roll it up And uh, so I just keep it tight on here and roll it. And roll it. And roll it. 
and then tape it shut. And then we'll flip it over and show you the finished product. Hopefully that worked all right. So rolling it like that just keeps it super tight. So you can see there's no play in this. Uh, it's loose at the end here, but I'm gonna fold that over and tape that shut and uh, we'll go on to the next step. So basically from here, like I said, just gonna fold this in, tape it shut, make sure that the sides are nice and supported. And then uh, we'll grab the box and I'll show you the next step. All right, so next step here. So we've got it bubble wrapped and slid in. Uh, I also cut and I told you I was gonna double ball it. So basically this double wall uh, means that there's two layers of cardboard between the outside and the unit. So there's also bubble wrap and then the unit, um, but all the way around it, I just taken another piece of scrap cardboard and it's gonna make your box stronger and it's gonna make it uh, less susceptible to things poking in. Um, so you can see on the side over here, I've got the AV cables. I took the remote and I just wrapped it in a bunch of this double bubble uh, again. And uh, so basically at this point, um, that can just tuck in there like so, and that's gonna make it super tight. So nothing's gonna move in here. I'll fill this little bit, probably with a bit of packing paper. Uh, I might just do another layer of bubble because you can see it's really high at the front here. I don't know if you can see it, but it comes down just a little bit and we want it to be full all the way to the top and then we'll be able to just fold this closed. So there you go. You can see there's a little bit of that. We don't want any of that. We want it to be just like this where it's all the way to the uh, uh, top. And most likely what I'll do is I'll put this on here and then I'll find another piece of cardboard uh, to go up over the top and then we'll tape it shut. So let me grab that and uh, I'll show you the finished result. All right, there it is all packed up. So taped it the same way, across the top, across this way, and then on the seams. And then one last thing I like to do on mine is I put these arrow up stickers um, just so that potentially the shippers will treat it a little bit better uh, and keep it that way. Even if it fell inside, it's not a big deal, um, but I would prefer it not to be shipped upside down. Just these kind of things, they uh, perform better for the customer when they've been shipped uh, specifically uh, the right side up. So you can't make it happen that way, but for your buyer, at least it gives them a better presentation too of knowing that you as the shipper did everything that you could uh, to get that item to them safely. So anyways, hopefully you learned something uh, and this makes sense for you. It is really not that hard uh, to ship one of these units. Um, and uh, hopefully those things help you to not be worried about trying to sell one uh, or worried about being scammed. So anyways, hit the subscribe on your way out. Hit the like on your way out. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Peace.